Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. One of the nice things about building a rack, you find new tools just because you've got a place to put them. Well, this isn't a new tool, but it's a different tool than what was on the rack yesterday. This is a uh, vice grip. More of a welding clamp than a vice grip. It's nice that you can uh, adjust the width for the amount of clamping force and it lets you open and close the jaws a tremendous amount. Let's see, I wonder how long that really is. See the jaws open to just about six and a quarter inches. How many problem I have with these? The jaws tend to not tighten down. It's got this little screw here that you use to tighten down the vise, but it doesn't tighten down so good. It's got a little neural button on there, and that's supposed to make it tighten up, but I have to use pliers on it. It's not going to last very long. Might have to change that out to a, I don't know, drill it and put a crossbar in it or something. But still, it's cool. It's a one-hand clamp. The nice, that's the nice thing I like about it. It's one of those great big one-hand clamps and it's got a tremendous amount of gripping force. This one is six and a three quarters, it was, so it's a little bit bigger than that one. But this one, even though it's very easy to use and it's a one hand operation, it doesn't have the grip strength. That one you can actually put some serious pressure on something. This will work and this will hold most things, but not anywhere near as much as that vice grip. And I have this one. This one is a uh, modified vice grip. Somebody broke off the jaw or cut it off or ground it off or something and welded this piece of bar stock in between just to make it work again. And it's missing the spring which means this doesn't work as well as a, a normal vice grip does because it tends to just kind of flop around. But I only use this once in a blue moon, mostly because it doesn't work very well. but it is very nice for holding two thin sheets of steel together. These are just standard old, let's see, they should have a number on here. Nope, this is just a vice grip, doesn't have a price, or a Oh, this is a 7R vice grip. Nice little size. Great for doing those jobs where you just want to clip something together. Once again, most of these, perhaps you can tell from the looking at the tip of it, most of these have been used for welding because they're real strong. All the 
anything that's going to be affected by spatter is clear over here, not as likely to be damaged by it. And you can work them one handed. Now these are kind of, now these are sophisticated vice grips for my shop. These are Craig vice grips. This is a gift from my son Ryan. This is kind of a, this, This is a sophisticated clamp for my shop. This is a Craig jig clamp designed specifically to work well with Craig jigs. It has large flat faces on it so it doesn't mar the wood. And this one is especially sized to uh, clamp into the jigs for drilling holes for pocket screws. Ryan got me these two as a pair and whenever I use my Craig jigs, I use these. Now these are a knockoff brand. I don't know who made them. I don't know where they come from. I just know that I got them. I believe I bought these as a package deal out of the Tractor Supply uh, deep discount bins. They work very nice though. I have two of them, especially nice for holding together sheet metal, thin sheets. This is the same thing as the others, except this one is uh, Badly in need of a scout crafter treatment. I don't know that I would do that, but because these are welding clamps, polishing them up to put them on a welding bench is kind of fruitless. But they do work, work quite well. Got so many clamps on these pegs down here, I'm just gonna take them down one at a time. Now this is a five inch vice grip knockoff. Nice little bugger. Useful for uh, those tiny jobs, you know? Something that you need to hold in position while you're just tacking it on somewhere. Works quite well. This is what happens when you take a cheap knockoff pair of vice grips and give it to somebody with a really strong grip. They just bend the jaws right open on them. These are just mild steel stampings and they're knockoffs. They're not very well made. Somebody clamped this down on something and bent it. Now I've got these and I imagine I'll do something with them to fix them. I don't know exactly what but Given time, I'll get to them. Not a big priority. These little guys came as a set. There were three of them in the bag. These are vice grips, well made. Not only do they have the standard alligator jaws on them, they also have a little wire cutter here. They're not world beater wire cutters. They do cut, but you gotta help them with that last little bit. They more pinch it off. It's 
since there's three to the set, let's see. Maybe one of the other ones cuts better. It does cut, mangles the end of the wire, doesn't do a good job. We can say that it's got a wire cutter on it, but if I had my choice between this wire cutter and pretty much any other, I'd take the other. Now we come down to real tiny ones. They work. Not a tremendous amount of pressure on them, but for this one, you want to do something tiny and hold it well with a one hand gripper. This is your baby. Mike Tarswell, since you started this whole line of questioning by asking if I had a pair of needle nose vice grips, I wouldn't call these needle nose, but they are pretty small. And they do grip. Tiny little buggers. They came as part of a set. When you buy one, you get two little ones along with it. Now, I don't intend to use these a whole lot, but you know, if I need them, I got them. This one is the third in the group. Can close it, unlatch it one handed. Tiny little bugger. But, if you want to reach over something and grip something on the inside of a lip, say a rolled edge on a piece of sheet metal, or you want to fasten something further in, this is your thing. Works quite well. And this is a four inch welding clamp. Works a little easier than the knockoff does. But I imagine it uses a different lever method just to avoid patenting problems. This is also a little bigger, a little stronger, about the same grip area though. So that's the vice grips that I found so far in cleaning the bench. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning the workshop and building places to put things so that I can find them when I need them. Thanks for watching. And when it gets a little warmer and a little lighter, I'll go out and do the same kind of thing out in the garage and go through the vice grips that I got out there and the clamps. Oh, would any of you be interested in seeing 
all the clamps that I got scattered around the shop. I could do a similar thing to what I just did here. Just put a note in the comment asking. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for a new video like Mike Tarswell had, or questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop it out in the comments. You know, I read them all. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.